Eleanor. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. So I'll let you do a little introduction for everybody okay. about yourself and your background and what brought you to Tennessee. Oh, wow. That's a loaded question. I know. I know. <laughs> Sorry, we have well, time. <laughs> my name is Laura Bashu. I'm the owner of Fashion Reformed, and um, I'm also program director for Fashion Group International in Philadelphia. Um, I was regional director once in Columbus, Ohio, um, where I had a business, uh, Wardrobe Consulting, and I was a buyer for Lazarus, which is now Macy's, mm -hmm. and so I have a long line of fashion, but I guess I got my start. Um, I always say when I was in fourth grade in Catholic school, um, one of my favorite nuns wanted me to be a uh, helper in the sacristy laying out the vestments for the priest. So I always say that that was my first clothing gift. That's so, so exciting. Yeah, I love the fabrics, and I'm actually helping as the fourth and now as a sacristy. So oh, wow. I'm back at Comes full it circle. Again. It has come full circle, so I'm, I'm really blessed to be doing that. But I've always loved fashion. Um, my parents were in fashion, and my father was a sales rep for all the cool denim lines, and my mother worked in the stores, and, and I was the buyer, so we always said that we could do it all together yeah. if we wanted the whole vertical operation. That's awesome. And Laura, talk to me a little bit about shopping in Philadelphia. There's so much shopping to do in Philadelphia. You almost have to like divide it up into four quadrants. Um, there is the west of Broad Street with all the wonderful shops on Walnut Avenue and um, also on Chestnut. Um, you can get any of the top names there, um, including Barney's, one of my favorite, is Zara, though, you know, depending on your budget. Anthropology, of course, you know, they're like located here with three people in urban. Um, and then Vince and uh, Club Monaco. Mm -hmm. We have everything on Walnut Street. But then you cut over to Chestnut and you have our own zone chef, who is well known in this community. She is a pioneer in bringing that New York look, that funky, anything that you want in black, yeah. in 50 million different yeah. ways. And then across the street from her is Boyd, which is iconic for Philadelphia, especially in the men's market. Yeah. They also have a wonderful women's department, too. Yeah. And then you head over east of Broad Street, and you've got Old City, which um, Old City has wonderful boutiques. Um, they're, they're special, they specialize in their own kind of flavor. So depending on what your style is, mm -hmm. there's retro and vintage. Um, I love art and age. I love Asia. Um, also, um, there's a couple of other. Yeah, we have Chloe Grace Boutique, which is one of oh, my I favorites. Love Chloe Grace. Um, I loved, obviously, Joan and her daughter. And then with Boyd, my husband actually got his wedding tux there. So. I hear that from so many people. I did work with them. They're, they're just so. Yeah. I can Yeah, and they you know they still have that attention to detail that, you know, not all of the department stores have anymore. So, yeah, I have it. It's been around for a while. <laughs> So also, I mean, in even leaving the city, we have the best um, mall in we America. Do. We they, do. They say that that one over, you know, further west. Just because they have an amusement it's park. It's because they have an amusement <laughs> park. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So we have the largest retail mm -hmm. square footage mall in the country, and that is Tumascasha. So you can find any designer store over in Tumascasha, and of course, all the major stores like the Union and Marvel. And we also have Saks Fifth Avenue and Valley mm -hmm. Inwood. So that brings me to the fourth quadrant, which is the main line. Mm -hmm. So there are um, wonderful stores over in the main line. Again, you know, depending on what your style is, yeah. these store owners get to know you and they remember what you need. They when really you're buying, do. they keep you in mind. They so really do. Jasmine and Orchid is one of my favorites. Um, Gabe's the owner there and she just has, I love bright colors despite being in black today. Um, she just has such bright and fun colors over there. So I had to shout her out. Yeah, we've got it all in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy to see and I take people shopping anywhere that they're not have and their body size and their budget. Exactly, uh, exactly. So. It's all about what makes you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And it's also using what's in your closet. Yeah, so very, true. <laughs> very true. Very So we have four questions for you to start, just to kind of give everyone some pointers for summer, as well as some great places to go um, in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Then we have three questions at the end, just relating to your favorites, and then we're going to play a little game. Um, you basically just have to answer the question as quickly as possible without thinking about it. It's only three questions. So let's jump right into it and start with um, some of your favorite summer trends. Well, I'm wearing my favorite summer trends, and that is to, to wear something light and um, glossy, which is an important for uh, the season. Um, say it's something for beach, um, accents of lace in some of your outfits. Um, not completely lace. You can just do it. 
touch of it and it's very feminine. Mm -hmm. um, the other favorite trend is the off the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Because I think for all women, um, it broadens your shoulders, it gives you that, that beautiful line of giving you almost the hourglass look mm -hmm. um, when your shoulders are broader. So as a wardrobe consultant, I work with people's style and their body type and their colors. Mm -hmm. So as a body type um, plus, uh, it does draw on your shoulders so that's a good one. You could do vertical stripe, but vertical stripes, of course, that's lengthening, but you start doing horizontal stripes mm -hmm. and that broadens your shoulders. Off the shoulder is definitely my favorite, yes. and I'm big with rompers, which oh, I've rompers. always I was been. Say rompers. I can wear them all day. Every oh day. my gosh! Every <laughs> event that I've been to lately, I'm counting all the women with rompers mm -hmm. on. So. It's just it's so easy. Um, I actually wore them when I was little too, so it kind of we all did. you know it comes back. So um, jumping to the next question, tell me what the your favorite or best local boutiques are. My favorite. I have a lot of them, so it's, it's difficult to say. Um, personally, I love El Lori because El Lori has such a wonderful array of just the top trends. And Liz Rymoff, who's the owner and designer, has done a wonderful job of choosing, um, you know, for her smaller boutique, just what's right. And every time I go in there, I find something. And um, she also designs the off the shoulder. I just recently went to an event of hers at the Moucheroo. Oh, yeah, um, that was Wednesday super fun. Night, mm -hmm. And um, all of her clients, I think, had a piece of her clothing <laughs> on. And she had the big seller was the off the shoulder mm -hmm. sleeve uh, with the poet mm -hmm. um, sleeve that was uh, very nice to see all of her. But everybody had rompers on. Yeah. Too, so <laughs> it, was, it was great. Yeah, she's great. Um, and local designers, I know you're wearing one of them. Yes, theirs. I'm wearing um, Anita Granet, um, King's, um, Anita Granetta's um, outfit. And it's one of my favorites. Um, I've bought several things from her. She does custom design um, as well as ready to wear. And she is on top of, you know, the trends, but she also creates outfits that are suited to your body type and your style. Which is so important. Yeah, I love the whole tattoo cutouts that she has yes. in her outfit. So my favorite question that we've asked everybody today is relating to fashion, what would be your favorite thing to do for a date night? I know for you this is a little bit harder because we have wine and food, but... Well, no, it's it's not difficult because I get dressed up every time I go out. Yeah. But um, me personally, I'm a very laid back, relaxed person. Mm -hmm. Um, I think my children always knew when I wasn't going out because I wore really grubby clothes. <laughs> I mean, I'm a jean person. I love blue jeans. Um, so I make my favorite, um, you know, cutouts and the ones with the holes. And, you know, I'm a throwback from, from the hippie days. So <laughs> I love pulling that back out again. But for date night, um, I do like to add a little bit more of a feminine edge. Um, you know, I, I go to so many events where I have to be, you know, very minded and professional mm -hmm. and so when I am with um, someone that I want you know to impress a little bit more in a different way I wear something more feminine mm -hmm. more lace mm -hmm. and you know something that shows your feminine figure mm -hmm. awesome awesome and you're better for yeah speaking of lace we I was actually just talking to Casey about this there we have a wine bottle inside and the design on the label is lace so and it ties in what we're that. talking about um, and then overall, who would you say, and this is always a hard question for me to answer too, your favorite designer is? Oh, overall, oh, it doesn't have to be local. That's not difficult at all. Diane von Furstenberg. Very good. I, I love the way that she creates clothing for a woman's body. Um, she's learned the drape. Um, she knows how to enhance the good parts and distract from, you know, the <laughs> exactly, other parts. Exactly. The ruching that she uses, you know, for the, the sleeve across to her. Me, which is usually a woman's um, little challenge, right. um, is, is supreme. And, and she's been around for a long time before she created the wrap dress in the 70s. And she made it come back again, and it's, it's very popular today. So I admire her spirit, her empower, she empowers women. Um, I've met her several times, I've even shopped with her. Oh, awesome. And what's she, she like? Oh, she's just divine. And she's like, darling, you need to buy that black dress. It looks superb. 
on your body. So everything you'd imagine she would oh, be. Oh, she's she is. wonderful. So yeah, Diane's on top.